Scrolling through the internet can be very, very frustrating most times, especially when you have projects and you have limited time to make these presentations. In this video, I have tackled this problem and I'm going to show you how you can create realistic mockup by yourself inside of Affinity Studios. If you've not gotten your template, you can use the link in the description of this video to get these templates, right? Without having to say much. So let's get started. So I have my document set. So I'm using 1920 by 1080 like I did in the last video. Right. So I'm just going to go in and bring in my file. This is the file. So I'm just going to drag here, drag and drop like this. And of course, I can leave it like this, but I'm just going to make it smaller. So it stays inside of my document page like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is go over to remove the background, right? So I'm just going to do this, where well, you can do this manually by using object selection and moving the background. So if you don't know how to do this, watch the video of how I showed you how to remove the background. So I'm just going to remove the background with the AI inside of Affinity and um, just to make things faster. So I have the picture of the shirts. Right. So now I'm going to make, let me um, rename this. So this is going to be image one. So I'm going to make a copy of image one, control J like this, and I'm going to rename this. So this is going to be image two. All right. So I have this out of the way. The next thing I'm going to do is the next phase is go to file and go to new. I'm going to create a new document. Now, this is going to serve as our placeholder. So I'm going to give this 15 by 15, 1500 by 1500, and resolution 300 pixels, please, and create document like this. So click create document, and Affinity creates this document for you. And now I'm not going to do anything serious inside here, just Using the rectangle, I'm just going to draw a rectangle inside to cover the whole space. And then, of course, I'm going to fill it with a color. So I'm going to use any color. Feel free to use any color of your choice, please. So I'm going to stick with this. And um, I think this is good. Or better still, why not make it lighter? So let's use a lighter blue color. When you are done with this, determine the color you use. Click on File and click on Save. Now, I'm going to save it inside my file so that I can get it easily. That's why I'm saving it inside here. So I'm just going to name this placeholder file. And of course, Affinity Files, click on save. And when you're done, you can go on, proceed to closing this. So click on the X to close it. So right here, this is where we're working on. So click on file and click on place. So this is the file I created, right? So select this file and click on open like this. It's And you can just drag and drop here like this. Make sure it covers the shirts, right? Make sure it extends beyond the shirts. So I have this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it inside of image two, right? So drag and drop it. You can see it's clipped inside of image two. So I'm going to open, um, I can turn this image one off open image two, and this is the image. I'm going to change the blend mode to linear bone. Of course, this is another way that you can actually apply color to any image inside of Affinity Studio using this method. So this is the first thing you've learned. You're welcome. So I'm going to have this. So this is the image I'm going to be using to do what I want to do. So what I want to do here is you can see it inside of image two. So to bring in our design, double click on this placeholder twice, double click. So when you double click, it's going to open up inside here like this. As you can see, it's embedded. It's a linked file, right? So I'm going to go over to my folder and I'm going to bring in my design. So this is the design I intend to use for this shirt. So I'm basically going to drag, but before I do that, I'm going to switch to vector. Right, then you can go on and drag this inside like this. 
So drag inside like this. And of course, it's going to be significantly big. So I'm going to reduce it like this. Reducing like this. And I'm going to have this here. So another thing I'm going to do next thing is go over to your, before that, convert this to curve, please. Do not miss that. Select your node tool and highlight these two parts. Hold down shift, drag this outside. I'm going to do it for all sides. Hold down shift and drag it outside. Highlight these two parts. And um, if you need to zoom out to see things clearly, please feel free. Be my guest. And drag this down. Now, immediately I've done this, I'm going to switch over to the field two, right? Make sure you're on the field two. Then come up here where you said extend, change this to wrap. And immediately the magic happens. So it's going to fill up the whole rectangle with that design. So you don't, it doesn't have to be rasterized or anything. So when I click here, now this is my design. So I can choose to leave it like this. I have achieved what I want to achieve. Or better still, let's spice things up. So I'm going to come back here. Anything you do here is going to affect the main image. So I'm going back to my embedded file. I'm going over to my resource file again, and I'm going to bring this image inside. Right, so I'm just going to bring this here and hold down shift to extend this. Of course, I don't want to leave any space beneath this. Extend this and bring this downwards. I'm holding down the shift to do all of this. So you can bring this down and let's see what's happening here. So as you can see, my design is coming to life. You can see I have my design on my shirt, right? With everything intact. So what I'm going to do here um, I need to add some highlights to this theme. So I'm going to activate image one and I'm going to move it up. Right. So what I'm going to do with this image one is I'm going to change the blend mode before and this is it. So change the blend mode here to screen. As you can see, it has made things worse, but then this is the fix. So bring this downwards like we did in the previous video. And bring this downwards, bring this here to form. Looks like a letter V. So this is before and after. So we have areas of highlights there. So we're good to go. Okay, so um, on the top mostly, I'm going to create my background. Of course, still spicing things up. I'm going to use, this is the color code right, of the color I'm using. Drag this all the way down to create a nice background for our image. So you can choose to leave it like this. But of course, I'm going to change things up a little bit. And um, with this, my foreground set to white, I'm going to select my brush and I'm going to add a light source just behind the shirt here. So I'm going to click once, twice, so two times. So I'm clicking twice and this is what I have. So I have my light effect just beneath it, I guess. So I can choose to make this bigger, selecting the two of them or make it smaller. So I'll rather make this smaller. So let's take this up. Create a new layer, a pixel layer, and I'm going to go over to, of course, the brush. But this time, instead of using whites, because I want to create a shadow, I'm going to use black. Right? So, of course, I'm changing the size of the brush. So, this is what I have. So, double click on this, and I'm going to go to the black region, and I'm selecting black. Click just once. Go over to your move to hold down shift and collapse this like this. So what you want to do is hold down shift and extend the edges like this. Easy peasy. Right. So you can turn down the opacity like this. 
um, just opacity like this. And to make the shadow realistic, we can go ahead and um, add, to so select it, live filter and click on add noise. So add noise to this. Somewhere around here is good, good. And click out like this. So you have your shirt nice and easy. So you can modify this um, several times, right? So a couple of things I would like to point out. So you can actually bring in any image that you want to intend to use as your pattern or what you want to use to create your mock-up and you can bring it inside here. And of course, feel free to make changes. For instance, I increase this. You can see that it has happened here in real time. So you can see now. So you can bring in anything inside this embedded document and you can make changes and you can be rest assured that's going to affect your main image, right? So I'm going to come back here like this. And um, of course, if I zoom close, you can see that this is just perfect, right? So I'm going to create adjustment layer, brightness and contrast. And I'm going to bring this up, take this down, take the brightness down and increase the contrast. But this is going to be for the shirt alone. So I'm going to click on it and drag to image two to keep it inside like this. So it's just affecting image two. Very important. As you can see, this image here has a very, very sharp edge. So how do we get rid of that? Go back to the embedded file. And um, what you want to do is add a live filter to this. And it's going to be Gaussian blow so that the edge can be blood out just a little bit so i'm just going to click out like this and um, come back here like this and let's check this out you can see check this out guys it's now smooth so you have this going and yeah if you've gotten to this point you made it all right guys if you've liked this video make sure you click the subscribe button like this video and share this video share to your friends and share to Anyone around you, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.